Of course. You're the most important in my life. <laughs> Person. Kaylin. Are we gonna say we love him? Yes, I wanna eat. <laughs> eat Wait. him? Kaylin! <laughs> Do you need me to read the narrator? <laughs> Please. Whoosh. <laughs> <laughs>Told you not just record something for 45 minutes and then threw it away. Not at all. Um, don't worry about it. That doesn't have anything to do with this game. All right, welcome back. We're doing the school. Yeah. Ah, oh, cold. After what happened last night, I am afraid to go back. Oh, well, I, uh, well, me too. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. Sorry, I thought that was a response to, like, my real life. Yeah, it's been company. a whole day since we, um, recorded this. Yeah, and not even an entire day. Wasn't this, like... Last night. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, wasn't it like at like 9 p.m.? We have literal pee brains, all right? <laughs> yeah. We it's, have it's, two brain cells between us. <laughs> she said, she said, two. We have two. Uh, the place that was full of good memories suddenly became very strange. When I think of the people I thought were my best friends hating me all the time, I can't help but wonder what that time really was for me. Dude, I'm excited to see what happens with this game. Even so, Honestly, I would like I'm to really go again. curious. Yeah, I'm really, like, I'm I'm really I'm curious. I'm excited. It's kind of bad that we started a long play that we're like interested about. Um, and, and right before finals. right before final season. Yeah. I'm gonna return to the entrance of my alma ma alma mater. Right. Alma mater. Dang it! Alma <laughs> mater. Dang it! I it's calmer than I thought I would be. Why didn't I notice people hating me all the time? Is it because I was so naive? I mean, yeah, you're naive, dude. Freaking guy was, what's his name? Albert was telling you he liked you like 550 times. And you're like, oh, <laughs> I can't imagine my school life <laughs> little, without Albert. He's a little joker. <laughs> a little prankster. I know, like, Jesus. Even I'm not that naive. Oh, yeah, we're dating him now. Oh, yeah, we are. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. I'm like a 14 year old pubescent boy. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Albert has done so much to make me enjoy my school. At least I have a voice today. Yeah. It's just not a, it's probably just not a nice one to listen to. <laughs> I can't become so vulnerable. It gets, it gets, it's a nice husky voice. Oh, thanks. <laughs> it's like really cracky. Oh, is that a new sentence? Yes. Oh, even after knowing the truth, this place is still full of memories of Albert and me. So I still don't hate this place. Hey, did Who's you hear so about Miss abrupt? Sharon? <laughs> uh, a few male students oh. happened to pass by me. And when I heard Sharon's name, I unconsciously pricked up my ears. Oh, I heard about Miss Sharon suddenly resigning from her job and going abroad, right? Resignation? Go abroad? I know, she's quit her job suddenly, but she, did she intend to go abroad? Ne indeed go abroad? Good job. Yes, I overheard it from the staff room. Is it really true? But it's not bad. I didn't like her in the first place. Rip. I know. She was. She always looked down on the students. The boys got farther away. Oh, I, they're all guys. <laughs> oopsies. And I couldn't hear what they were saying afterwards. Sharon was arrested, wasn't she? Understandably, she resigned, but why did she get to leave the country? Or is it just a rumor? I would assume it to be a rumor. Yeah. Since Albert was the one who sent her to the police station, she would need more time to get out. I shouldn't overthink it. That's a lot. That's a... You should think about that. Oh, prepare for Albert's Christmas gift. I love the singular choice that we have to go do. I know. Every single time it's a singular choice, it's like, what's the point of even, like, clicking it? They, they want interaction. <laughs> <laughs> it's an immersive game. <laughs> yeah, yeah, come on. We have choices, Kayla. We have choices. We have a choice. <laughs> well, I mean, the choice is to click on it or to not click on it and stare at it. <laughs> okay, this, um, this is the multiverse. There's, um, there's infinite possibilities. Possibilities? Yeah. Okay. I went to the shopping street and wandered around while... Ooh. Sorry. Oh! Did I touch things? <laughs> what did you I didn't do? even. I didn't even. What happened? Kill it! I didn't. I can't even. I'm not even reaching the keyboard. What just happened? How did that happen? Oh, oh! When you scroll, it goes back. Yeah, that was your fault. I oh. didn't do anything. We're good. No, when you moved me, I actually. <laughs> when I moved you. Yeah. <laughs> I went to the shopping street and wandered around, thinking about what to get for Albert. Well, it's really hard to decide. Although we sent gifts, send. That's right. Although we send gifts to each other every year, this year's gift had to be special. Because this is the first gift after we became a couple. A couple. I still can't believe it. I immediately blush again when I think about what Albert told me this morning. I have a question. Yeah. When you say a couple, it's like uh, two people, right? Yeah. If you're in a polyamorous relationship- A tribal. And you say- <laughs> I'm glad that I'm funny. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
I immediately blushed again and I thought about Did I answer your question this morning? <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh my god. Why can he say such things so easily? Damn. Was he this char was he this charm before? Yes. Why does he like me so much? Well The phone suddenly rang and my heart skipped a beat when I saw the caller ID. Why did you just call at such a perfect timing? Thank you. Sorry, I was Hello? drinking my water. <laughs> squeaky didn't come though. Because I turned on my side. Why didn't you get squeaky? Oh, sorry. Here, I'll give you squeaky. Yay. If you really want squeaky, I can I can squeaky. deliver. <laughs> squeaky. That was so different today. Yeah, squeaky's a little tired. You know, yeah, honestly, same. It's, Leaky's on my desk right squeaky's now. Squeaky's a little tired because um, what's it called? Because. She, uh, she or he or it, I don't know what it is. Is it full? I thought we already established a gender for them. <laughs> Did we? I don't know. Well, anyway, it's squeaky or squeaky. What? Squeaky had a little bit of weird noise because squeaky is tired. <laughs> Maybe squeaky's sick. <laughs> Leaky's on my desk. <laughs> oh, you finally picked up. Honey. Oh. What are you doing? Oh, and honey. Ah, sorry. You're not used to that yet, are you? Or do you don't like it? It's not that I don't like it. Oh, so are you shy? No. <laughs> so cute. Hey! So, <clears throat> where are you now? I went out for a walk. Walk? <laughs> hey, did I tell you to take a good to take a good rest? It looks like someone is being naughty. And what are you gonna do about it? I went out because of you. Uh, me? <clears throat> did you miss me so much that you came to look for me? It's not like that. Hmm? Then what is it? Don't tell them that you're getting a gift. It's just this spoil a surprise. I'll be home soon, so don't worry too much about it. Yeah. Hmm. All right. What about you? Where have you been? Uh, I'm a little far away. They're gonna run into each other at a store. <laughs> How far is it? Is <sighs> something Sorry. Important? How was the audit? Secret secrets. Yeah, I feel like they're gonna run into each other. It's not something dangerous, is it? Your body's still injured. Of course not, my dear. Don't worry. <sighs> Ugh. Uh, I need to go. See you tonight. Hmm. Well. Bye bye, my honey. It's just a change of appellation. Yeah. My heart almost can't take it. The, you know, calling each other. Uh, well, what will happen afterward? Without going out with Albert for the first time, in my heart flutter with excitement. I need to calm down. Heart flutters. AFib. I need to decide on Albert's Christmas gift. The thing is he likes sporting goods because Albert is particularly fond of and good at water sports. But he already has so many of them. I have not given them as a gift to him before. Games? We play a lot of games together, and he loves horror games. However, it is not suitable as a gift for the first date. <laughs> How about... Oh. Me? Damn. Uh, oh, no, no, no. It's too embarrassing to treat yourself as a gift. Oh, my God. What <laughs> <I> happened? <laughs> yeah, I'm dick. Getting a little spicy. But I can't just give him chocolate milk, right? A hundred cups of chocolate milk? I, I that's kind of cute. To, like, no, that's adorable, dude. Like some kind of chocolate... Milk. No, like tie it back to like your first like whatever, you know? That's, yeah. ad that's adorable. Yeah, that is cute. No, no, no. How can you possibly drink it? What? What should I do? Mmm, hotter cups. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, yes. There's one more thing besides chocolate milk. But uh, that takes a lot of space. I read that as spice in my head for some reason. <laughs> and it's easy to find out if I'm doing it at his ha house. What? What if I do it at the cafe? I have the key he gave me. I remember Albert say that everything is... <laughs> I said it was refurbished and ready for use. <laughs> Do you need me to read the uh, narrator again? Oh. I was fine until I started talking. <laughs> <laughs> Do you need me to do the narrator? Please. I don't All think right. people want to listen to my terrible voice. Oh, mine's a mumbly one, so... Mm. Oh, God, my hair's everywhere. All right, let's buy some materials and go see them. Ah, oh, there we go. I'm cold. I'm not choking my own hair now. And I'm not choking you. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> <laughs> wow, it really is the same as before. And not a bit of dust. I'm thankful that Albert did find someone to clean every day. I tried to open um, the machine I wanted to use, and they all worked. Well, in that case, let's get to work. Let's finish it before Christmas. What day is it? Um... The 6th? The 7th? It was the 6th when we were on the train. So maybe like, the 10th? Oh my god, you're- no, it was, you're right. Yeah, I'm a freaking genius. <laughs> I can't believe you remember that. Of course! We are so tired. 2013. <laughs> yeah. But well, finally, oh, December. A <laughs> large part of it is finished. The rest can be done tomorrow. <clears throat> I looked at my phone and it was already nighttime. 
It looks pretty light outside to me. No, it got dimmer. Did it really? It's like sun, sun setting. Oh, yeah, though. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's already so late. Oh, God. I had to go back quickly. I quickly organized my kitchen and flew back to Albert's room. Did it say room or house? House. Because <laughs> I read house, but I wasn't sure. I wasn't confident about that one. When I returned to Albert's house, <laughs> he was nowhere to be found. <clears throat> Are you still out there? Huh. Oh, it's a little face. It looks like boobs. Oh, Kaylin. Is it not? What are you thinking about right now? My baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see it. I see it. I see it. You're right. <laughs> Still outside. They're really far apart. <laughs> That's how most boobs are, though. Squish. <laughs> but I'll be back soon. <clears throat> Eat first if you're hungry. Don't worry. I'll wait for you to come back. Well, I'll go to the room first and wait for him. Hmm? Why is Albert's door open? I took a peek inside and it was the same as before. Speaking of which, it has been a long time since I've been in his room. Ooh. In the past, we came to his home to play in his room. Did he have the freaking race car bed? Oh, uh, you know what? I had a fire truck bed. <laughs> oh my gosh, you really? I really did. Why? I don't know. You just chose that or you were just given that one? I don't remember. I was pretty young, but I like. I really liked that one. Mm. I remember really liking that one. I had a fire truck. A full fire truck. <laughs> I did not. Yeah, it was great. <clears throat> Why don't I sneak in to see it? I'll probably, f I, I should probably, f I'll find a photo over break and I'll send it to you. <laughs> okay. Hmm. It's a little neater than before. I looked around and there was pictures of us together in a cabinet all by, wait, by a wall. So nostalgic. Huh? His doll was given to him when I was in high school and I can't believe he still keeps it. Oh! Hey, Len. I don't know if it shows. Probably not, but <laughs> her like toolbar came up from the bottom. As soon as I picked up the doll, the book, the book case suddenly so spun. Thank you. Wait, why? Oh. <laughs> there was a room behind the bookcase. <laughs> oh. The slash like a slasher. Oh my god. <laughs> What's going on in here? Is there a secret room? Unable to resist my curiosity, I stepped into the hidden room. He's giving it a temptation. Whoa! Wow. He got a freaking monitoring system for that the entire world. Huge. Hello. Oh, pfft. Hello. Hi. <laughs> However, this place makes me feel uncomfortable. <clears throat> the whole room is covered with strange things. A large glass cabinet in the room was with had several blood bags and syringe hanging inside. Oh, it's it's, it's blood. This is blood. Who's blood? Is this? <laughs> Sorry. Then in the center of the room, there was a console-like object filled with information and notes. There was also a thick old book. The rules of Klaus family. Why does the pattern on the cover look so familiar? Ah, the picture book has the same pattern, but why? When I reached out to open the book, I accidentally touched a button on the candle console and the big screen on the wall suddenly turned on. Ah, oh, crap. Huh? How does this clip? It was a place where I was in prison last night and I see myself. I hugged Albert's wound wounded body and cried so hard I thought I, I would faint on the floor. However, the second I stood up... Don't hurt, hurt him, don't hurt him, don't hurt him, don't hurt him, don't hurt him. My eyeballs turned red, beating, uh, beating up Sharon and the big men she brought with her. Even if it's not true, that's really me. It's like a monster. Why? Why would I? I fell to the ground with weak legs, and my breathing became more and more difficult. Some fragment memories came to mind, and I remembered Sharon begging for mercy and, and the image of flesh and blood flying around. Ah, no. No. Caitlin, that's enough. Good girl. It's time to go to sleep. Is that Albert's voice in the clip? Why? <laughs> Does he have a... No. Can you see... Oh, never mind. I thought he had, like, a camera on his body. After the clip is finished, the words recorded. Yeah, how the did words, this, how did this recording come into play? Uh, I like, think it's a, I think it's a camera in that room. Oh. Uh, the words record this ex <clears throat> seizure appear on the screen. In a flash, I understand a lot of things. The voice, the Christmas butcher, the words of Miss Aethra. No, it's me all the time. Kill, kill, kill! Don't. Pop. Pop. Jesus, titty Christ. Where did the titties come from? <laughs> Kill it. 
A sharp object stabbed me in the neck. Ah. My consciousness began to blur when a familiar voice sounded from behind me. Caitlin. See, look, shit. You went too fast. I was going to show you the period after Caitlin. <laughs> <laughs> well, in Japan, I will say this. The period is not a dot. I know, I know, I know, I know, but it's only after Caitlyn. <laughs> it's only after when he says Caitlyn, that's geez. it. And he says nothing else. Okay, we can scroll up. Oh, see, look. Oh, yeah, that is just the Japanese period. For some but reason. only after Caitlyn. I don't know. Why? Well, after our names. <laughs> yeah, but only after the name. Why? I told you to be good and wait for me to, want to come back. Why are you not being good? Albert, why? What are you asking? <clears throat> you, yeah. know uh, you know all <laughs> You know? Why do we make the same noise? <laughs> you know all these, right? Yes, I know. Because I love you. Sorry for my negligence. I should have- I should not have let you run around. I collapsed helplessly into Albert's arms. Sleep again, my baby. My baby. Thank you for that. What a giant frog. <laughs> frog. <laughs> what is this? I oh, sorry, that was you. Uh, where I is I was this? walking. I saw a familiar back. Albert. He didn't respond to me, but kept his eyes on a crying child in front of him. Uh. It was Albert as a child. At the moment, a dark figure approached this crying child, Albert. No. No. No way. Ah. I opened my eyes, I almost had ears, <laughs> and there was a ceiling of Albert's room. Nice. There was the ceiling of- yeah. Yeah. Honey, are you awake? Albert. Did you sleep well? I was shocked that he had fallen asleep in my room. Oh, I looked around at a daze and my eyes fell on the doll of the bookcase. Then I remembered what had just happened. My stomach acid rushed- My stomach acid rushed to my heart <laughs> and nausea spread. Keelan, are you alright? Ah, stay away from me. Hmm? I, I, I am a monster. Ugh, oh, damn. The medicine needs to be stronger. Albert, you know all these, right? Why did you hide it from me? Why did you wake that clip in, in that room? That medicine? Whose blood is that? Is it true that Sharon and the others were caught? Don't tell me they are all dead. Oh, no. Oopsies. Wait, the disappearance of my uncle and aunt can't be related to me, right? <gasps> I collapsed into a... <sighs> uh, Barrage? Barrage? My brain went to barrage, but I don't know. Barrage of questions, and Albert uh, just looked at me without saying a word. Albert, you know everything, don't you? Tell me! Huh. Honey, you have too many questions. He was holding a syringe at some point. Come on, let's leave you again. Forget all the sad things. This time I'll make sure you won't, don't remember. <laughs> Alright! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oop. So? I would say no. No! I don't want this. I reflexively shook off the syringe in, in Albert's hand and a bright red fluid leaked, staining the sheets. Whose blood is that? Mine. Hey. Caitlin, be a girl, good girl. Can you? Then why don't you answer my question? I don't know what method you use. This is not the first time, right? Are you going to let me sleep again and forget everything? Yeah. So you don't become miserable. His words were a tacit yeah. acknowledgement of the fact that I was a monster. <laughs> so, is it all true? I became that monster and took Sharon and the others. Caitlin, listen to me. I am not listening. Stay away from me. I pushed him away and held my hand to my heads. <laughs> Caitlin! Did you not say heads? No! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I held my hand- I held my head in my hand. She said I held my head to my heads. I <laughs> you have multiple heads. Close it up. What is, no, it's not. It's completely different. <laughs> oh my god. I thought that it was a typo. <laughs> what have I done? This is so funny. Why did it hide from me? Why did you stop me? Is that what she said you would deal with during the day? So I'm the monster. That's why everyone hates me. No, you're not a monster. You have nothing. Wait, you haven't done anything wrong. You don't have to feel sad for these beaches. Beaches. That's <laughs> uh. a total mistake, by the way. <laughs> um, Albert grabbed me by the shoulders. I had never seen him so angry with me. Caitlin, um, I don't let. I won't let you suffer anything. People who hurt you are at fault. 
And even though you're getting a little crazy, you're not doing anything wrong. Well, <laughs> how? <clears throat> you're crazy, but I love you. Yeah, pretty much. Maybe he's into that. They would own. <laughs> they would have had to pay the price. Even if you don't do it, I won't let him go. No, Albert. Why don't you just kill me? I sobbed uncontrollably at the fragmented memories causing caused me pain. As the oh whatever. Stop it! I'm going to get mad if you keep saying that. He angrily grabbed a, a syringe full of unknown blood from his hand, and he was about to stab me when he stopped. Damn. He dropped the syringe on the floor and hung his head listlessly. It is, it is enough to stab down. Wait, it is enough to stab down like usual and let you sleep. You can forget everything and smile at me like you usually do. I just, just want my loved ones to be to smile forever. And I can't even do that. Fuck the curse. <laughs> what is happening? Albert showed an expression of pain that I never had never seen before, and my heart instantly ached like a tear. What? Like a tear. Wait, what? Like a tear. Oh, I got you. Oh! Yeah, like tearing No, it. me too. I <laughs> was reading tear, and I was like, what's happening? I turned to grab his hand. <coughs> I tried. I tried to grab his hand, and he turned his head and walked away. Listen, I'm not going to let you leave here. If you insist on putting yourself in unnecessary pain, go ahead. But don't you ever leave me. You should be by my side forever. What? <laughs> Sorry. What? You know, okay, so my mouse is flickering with yeah. the UV, the, the infrared, right? Yeah. I had it next to my head, mm -hmm. and it was blinking, and the reflection of my glasses made it look like it was right here. Oh. Like, it was it was in my peripheral view, and I was like, what the hell? <laughs> I see, I see, I see. And, and I, 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 don't know if I, I don't know if I explained it well enough audio-wise, but just know it's Yeah, fine. I think they get the point. You should be by my side forever, and you're not in pain or happy. Whether you're, you know, you are mine. Albert, wait. He walked towards the door without looking back and closed it with a snap, leaving me alone in the large room. I stared blankly, blankless, blankly at the empty ceiling. Oh, know. there's the- wow, there's two periods. Oh. <laughs> I don't know how long time has passed. There is no time, but I okay. Know. I know, but no matter what, <clears throat> the image of me turning into a monster still comes to mind. Tearful. Cruel. Crazy. <laughs> Why did I become like that? That feeling of residue on the hands is so scary. I can't believe thinking I have... I might have done the same thing before. I never wanted to hurt anyone. Let alone kill someone. Please. How about letting me die? In, in any case, it's hard for me to accept all this. I wish it was all just a dream. I reflexed... I flexed my body and shrank into a corner. The last time I had a breakdown like this was when we, when my adopted parents left me. Thanks to Albert being by my side, I could smile again. Why does Albert continue to hang out with me even though he knows I'm a monster? He treats me like a normal person and loves me like that. Or is it that he actually likes me as a monster? At that, at that moment, I noticed a compartment in the cabinet next to the bed was not closed. Just as I was about to turn it off, something fell down. It's an old notebook. I opened it unconsciously and immediately recognized Albert's handwriting. Is this uh, Albert's diary? No, I can't just look at other people's privacy. A note fell on from the diary. Only Caitlin and I can read this. Oh, consent. Time to read. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Your literal consent. We have act. Man, we have consent. Of course, we're gonna read it. Oh my God, there's uh, nine pages of, free of like saving. But yes. <laughs> can we I want to read it even more since it is written this way. Perhaps I can find out what Albert really thinks here. And at that moment, I need something to distract me. I slowly opened the diary and the first and first started with the day I met him. He started to like me from that time. I thought back uh, uh, to the good old days we had. Oh, 10 years ago. <coughs> Caitlin, sorry, have you been have you waited long? Okay, so they look about how old here. I'm trying high to school, out, high like, school. Yeah, so then they're really like their mid twenties. Yeah, yeah. No, just for a moment. Wait, what's wrong with your face? Why are your hands wrapped in bandages too? Ah, did you go for a fight again? Yay! Hee hee. You dummy! Didn't I say no more fighting? Okay, I don't know how, but my brain mashed dummy and didn't, and looks like bitch. What? Yeah, it was weird. How? That's don't worry, what? my brain doesn't work. <laughs> Pinch me. Don't pinch me, it hurts. 
I just hit them because they say something bad. How bad is it? Do they scold you? Then I should be the one to teach them a lesson. Where are they now? No, they're not scolding me. Then why did you try to stir up trouble? Caitlin, I want to hug you. <laughs> That's so random. It's, well, he's supposed to be devi like deviating the conversation. <laughs> it's heavy. Why are you... What are you doing all of a sudden? Please, don't be angry. I brought that game you wanted to play. Let's let's head to my home and play together, shall we? Really? Yeah, let's go. Ah, phew. Oh no, it's already so late. I have to go to homeschool. I mean, home soon. <laughs> Are you leaving so soon? It's late, as it's so sunny outside. If I don't go home, I'll be scolded by my uncle and aunt. What does it matter? They're not scolding you because they're worried about you. Why don't you stay overnight at my house? You're right, but I'd better go back. They're my only family, even though they don't like me. I'm your family too. Did you say something? No. There is nothing. Um, then I'll take you back. It's only a short distance away. I'll leave now. See you tomorrow. Caitlin. Why is she run so fast? Anyway, after every time she says that, I still s sneak after her. Oh. I had to process what he said. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, I hope they won't be angry today. Caitlin ran home, gra uh, gasping, for, gasping for breath, and hurriedly took off her shoes. As she was about to open the door, she paused when she heard a strange conversation. Don't you think the girl is so annoying? Oh, uh, noisy and troublesome. Uh, she pretends to be close to us, even though she is not blood-related. <laughs> if it weren't for the fact that outsiders wouldn't respect her... Suspect. Suspect? What? Outsiders wouldn't suspect her. I would have adopted her. I wouldn't have adopted her. That's right. And it's a waste of our head hard earned insurance money to support her. Insurance money? What are they talking about? I wanted to kill the whole family. Oh. Take the insurance money and run. But that kid survived. Oh, so are they the ones <laughs> that crashed uh, the car? They want to kill the brother and sister for the their, their sibling for the money. But then they realize the kid's alive. They got it taken because it's technically relative, relatives. And then now that she's hearing this, she's gonna go. She gotta go monster mode and uh, kill their uncle and all by accident. Wait, hold on. I'm. I kind of forget a little bit. So, the parents that died in the car crash—that's the biological, right? No, we don't have biological. We were orphans. We were okay, on the okay, beach. okay. So that's right. So then they were they were the foster. So then I'm asking, is the person who because it was by somebody crashed in the car, right? Mm -hmm. So are the people who crash into the car the aunt and uncle? I think it's like. Arranged. I don't know if it's them specifically, but it's arranged. Oh, by the aunt and uncle. Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. And then I bet you right now she's gonna be like, what? They killed my parents? Go beast mode and then freaking wreck Destroy their shit. Them. Yeah. <laughs> so can I put her sunglasses on? Fuck some shit up, yeah. It's Cause I can't really see that well. It's kind of blurry. Uh, uh, oh, forget it. Let's just pay. Let's just uh, repay my, the couple. My tailbone hurts. They are all dead. What? After a while, we can send her away. What do you mean by that? Ah! Uh, damn. What time did you come in? Tell me. Wasn't it an accident that killed mom and dad? Wasn't that driver driving out of control because of a drug overdose? Get away! Get out of my way! Useless kid. Ah! Uh. To do that kind of thing, of course, it was... It is to ask someone else to do it. But for a bit of money, you can just get a junkie to help you to do it. You guys really did that for insurance money? What else? The money is enough for us to enjoy a lifetime. You were the ones who burned down the cafe. Hey, blame them for keeping the probate <coughs> and insurance beneficiary documents there. And it goes without it goes without thinking that they have they must have left that money for you. Dude, they're messed they're freaking messed up. Yeah. Since we can't find it, let's burn it down altogether. How can you do such things? Mom and dad are so good to you. What's up? Wait, what's up? What? Do you want to tell me the- Do you want to tell the police? Do you have proof? Their fierce, Their fierce yeah. faces made, their, made her vomit. Caitlin's breathing somewhat started to- Oh, hi. Katie! I'm sorry! <laughs> I didn't mean to. Uh, no. Your hand was just there. Uh, because, uh, Caitlin's breathing somehow started to become more rapid, and her vision was gradually tingling with the lawyer, layer of- Tinged. <laughs> tinged. What's tinged mean? My brain went to like tinted, but I don't know. 
With the layer of red. Hey Siri. Hey Siri. Hey Siri. I don't think she recognized. Hey Siri. Hey Siri. Hey Siri. Hey Siri. What does tinged mean? Ting means no. A tinged. sharp, clear ringing sound, such as that. Color slightly. Oh, okay. Okay, shut up. Unforgivable. Unforgivable. She has a strong inner voice. Kill them. Unforgivable. 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 How dare you looking at me like this? The man raises his hand and punches Kaylin, Jesus tits, in the face while she stops him uh, with the force that is not hers. What the? Caitlin's aunt, who sensed something wrong, uh, tried to attack Caitlin, but she avoided it. The girl named Caitlin re relentlessly attacked the two of them, and the two adults t uh, taller than her had no power to fight back. Yeah, so whenever she's in beast mode, like the, uh, the POV changes. Yeah. Like a robot, she moved her hands without consciousness while tears flowed down her face. She didn't notice uh, what, st what state the person in front of her was attacking to. What? She did not. She did not notice what state the person in front of her was attacked to, nor did she notice Albert watching it all. Originally, he had intended to make the first move, like those guys at school. Um, he'll make anyone who hurt Caitlyn pay it for it. But he had no idea that Caitlyn would suddenly become this way. Caitlyn, Caitlyn! Realizing it was too late, he ran to the one he liked and hugged her tightly. Stop fighting, or you'll hurt yourself. Looking at her usual, unusual face, he realized it was not the girl that he used to know. Red eyes and uncontrollable. Keelan, don't tell me you're from that cursed family. No. So what? He held Caitlyn tightly again. It's okay. It's okay. Even if you become a monster, I will always like you and stay by your side. Caitlyn had no intention of stopping her attack when she tries to break free from Albert's arms. Ouch. <laughs> She bit him hard on the shoulder, but Albert held her tightly in pain. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Bite it as much as you want, Ken. Even though it hurts, I feel excited because it's you. That's how I. That's how much I love you. Huh? Why are you licking my blood? Soon, Caitlin's pupils returned to her original color, and she collapsed in Albert's arms. Great. She's back to the usual Caitlin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the day's work. Oh my god. Is it because you lick my blood? This is exactly the same as the book says. Albert holding up the sleeping Caitlin and picked her up the phone. Sleep tight, my dear. I'll help you with the rest. So you get rid of the bodies? Yeah. So that's why they just disappeared. Albert looked at Caitlin, still asleep, and gently pushed her, uh, pushed her hair away. Poor baby. He opened a book, a heavy book on his book side, bedside. <laughs> A rule passed down from generation to generation in the Klaus family, um, which also contains the family's history. I thought mermaids and humans' descendants were just fairy tales, but it is true. I finally figured out why everyone in our family is so good at water sports. <laughs> Albert turned to one of the pages with the curse with the curse their mermaid ancestors had placed on the inv invaders. So let the selfish humans feel the same pain. The descendants of the invaders will go berserk if their loved ones are killed or seriously hurt. So did she go crazy when her parents died? Like, what happened? Yeah, she learned that, like, her parents were like, yeah. But I'm more like, if I were to curse somebody, oh, I guess berserk and kill their own beloved? Because I'm like, if they go berserk, you kind of made them stronger, you know? Yeah. Okay, so we're descendants of Wait, so we're- wait, so Caitlyn, us, is the mermaid. No, it's the invaders. And Klaus is the mermaids. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Yeah. I just had to, I just had to double check. Yeah, you're good. If they were not treated- uh, if they're not treated or leaved- wait. If they are not treated or, or leave, leave the island, island, they will go berserk until they die. And only the blood of the Klaus family members can soothe the berserk state. And for complete healing, Copulation mm, with the adult Klaus family bloodline is required. <laughs> you know what copulation is? Is it like making children? Yeah. Yeah, having sex. Okay. Uh, and it requires the wholehearted love of both parties to prove that the sins of the cursed party are forgiven. Oh, okay. 
Well, now that she knows this, though... Well, I guess she did love him before, she though. She doesn't know this. Shit. This is, this is the past. This is what um, Klaus is reading right now. Yeah. Oh. Oh. This he's is the, this is still in the past. Oh, we're still in the past? The book, I thought yeah. we were back to the present. No, no, no. See? Oh, okay. he's, he's oh you're right. You're right. Okay, okay. I can't believe that you are the descendants of those people. Is it fate? Go berserk until they die. Damn it! Why it has to be you? You're so innocent. How can I let you leave me? If my blood can heal you, I'll give you all of it. But I need to stay here until I reach adulthood. The Klaus family line cannot leave uh, Snow Lake Island before they reach adulthood because the mermaid's philosophy. Otherwise, they'll physiology. be dead. Physiology. Physiology. Otherwise, they will be dead. What a bullshit physique! If I, if I am to heal you, I must, I must endure without you. Also, I need you to love me with all your heart. Albert, Albert gently stroked Caitlin's face. Caitlin face. Oh. No S. <laughs> I always thought that as long as I stayed by your side, always protect you, always loved you, that would, would be fine. As long as a person who stays by your side is me, I'm satisfied. But... What is happening? Yeah, I don't know. I hear the noises, too. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. I wonder if the mic is picking that up. Uh, I don't know. Is that someone below us? Sounds like from the left. No, it's below us. It is? Are you sure? Sounds like outside from the left. No, it's below us. How are you so sure about that? Because when you put your head on the pillow, it can feel it downwards. Well, whatever they did, they left. That was weird. But what would it take to make you love me with all your heart? Oh, my tailbone. Caitlin. Sorry, I don't know why I just read my own name. But what if you don't like me? I can't even imagine my, what life would be without you. Rejection. Knocking on the door. Young mister. <laughs> um, did you call me? Uh... Greg. Is the exchange program our family is sponsoring... Sponsors still available? Yes. Didn't Caitlin say she was, uh, she wanted to uh, visit an outside design school? Let her go. But young mister, you cannot follow. Your body will. I know. If I could, I would certainly like to keep her with me. However, because of the curse on her, it's not appropriate for her to stay here for the time being. Why not? You literally just give her blood whenever. That's why I was wondering, why did she go abroad? Uh, does she go? Does she go berserk up when when she's not on Snowflake Island? Is it only the curse on Snowflake Island? No, I thought no until they die. I think maybe because her loved ones are no, she can make loved ones off. Can I don't know what's going on. Why? That's what I'm the most confused about. Yeah, I'm a little confused too. This is the only way I can protect her. Also, I need you to. I need to always allow her. Wait, I need to always know her state and physical condition. I will send my blood to the doctor there regularly so she can have oh, okay. it in case she needs it. I get it. Don't worry, my Caitlin. I will help you arrange everything. The college you go to, the place you work, the place you live, and the day you t you return to me. No matter where you are, I'll take care of you. Until the day I see your grin, again, I will let you fall in love with me wholeheartedly. Then, we'll stop separate again 